In this section, we will write a program to implement dequeues. The very first statement will be from exceptions import empty. This statement we have already seen in the earlier programs. Then we will define a class with the name array dq. It will have init method and the members of the init method are underscore data which is a list and self dot underscore front we will assign as zero. We will write the implementation for the length operation that is len method and it will return length that is len of self dot underscore data that is the length of the data list. We will have another function is empty. This function will also not take any arguments and return length of self dot data equal to zero. Then we will have first method and we will check if the DQ is empty and raise the exception else we will return self dot data of self dot front. Next we will create add first method and it takes element E as the argument. The next statement will be self dot data dot insert of self dot front comma E which is an element. Then the next method would be add last and the parameter would be E. The statement inside add last we will have self dot data dot append E. We will then write delete first method and the very first statements we have is to check whether the DQ is empty else we will use value equal to self dot data dot pop of self dot front and then finally return the value. The next method will be delete last. This method also will not take in any arguments and first thing is to check whether dq is empty. Then value equal to self dot data dot pop and then we will return value. Let us execute this program to check for any errors. We will create an object d of the class array dq. Then perform the operations that is d dot add last we will pass 10 then d dot Again add last we will pass 20. The same way we will insert 5 elements 10 to 50. Then we will print the dq using the print function and dq dot data. Let's execute this program and we see the output of 5 elements present in the dq. Let us now perform the delete first operation and then print the dq. We will also perform delete last operation that is d dot delete last and execute the program. You can observe that initially there are five elements in the dq. The first element is 10. We will now perform add first operation passing the value as 50 and print the dq as well as we will perform add last operation passing the value as 60 and then print the dq as well as compute the length of the dq. We have an error here. Let's uh, check what's the problem. The problem is I forgot to add two underscores in defining the length method. 
let's execute the program you can observe that elements are added to the first of the DQ as well as at the end of the DQ and the length 5 is displayed. This is how the ADT of DQ is implemented in Python using arrays or specifically using list in Python.